Hello and welcome to a video tutorial explaining the IV characteristics practicals for the AQA GCSE physics. We've got three experiments for you today. One is the IV characteristics of a resistor, a bulb and a diode. I'm going to start with the resistor. We've got a meter, a voltmeter, plug in like this, several wires, a diode, a bulb, and these are called rheostats. They're two um, variable resistors, but I'm going to use one as a, as a fixed resistor, and that's how you wire it up, so you'll need to be able to see how to do it. All right, so I'm just going to start from the positive side, show that in red, make it neat, not that it makes a difference. Start from the red side, and the first thing on the diagram says, coming from the positive side, plug into an ammeter, red is positive, going to the positive side of the ammeter, then plug into your test component. So I'm going to use this as a standalone resistor, not as a variable resistor. So instead of plugging in here, coming out here, allowing me to pick how much of the resistor I use, I'm just going to plug in here and plug in here. So I use the entirety of the resistance. Okay. So I've got to uh, this point here now, and I'm going to plug into a variable resistor now. So I'm going to plug into this one as a variable resistor, so I'm going to use these two contacts. Okay, so now by moving this around, it's going to allow me to change the amount of resistance because it's going to currently to flow through this wire out here, so I can vary the resistance of this component and change the current in the circuit. The power pack is switched off. It's set to 12 volts. So nearly there. Now all I need to do is get the voltmeter in parallel across the test component. So this side is the positive on the voltmeter, so it needs to go to the positive on this side. Okay, so now I'm measuring in parallel the voltage across this component. All right. If I switch it on now, we should get a reading for current and for voltage. Varying this should change both values. Right, so we're ready to do the experiment. Switch on the um, power pack. Uh, I'm interested in these two values, the voltage, the current, and I'm going to vary uh, both of them using this variable resistor. So if we come in and have a closer look, with this resistance set to its absolute minimum, I've got 10.75, 10.75, and I'm getting 0.92 amps. So I'm going to take another reading by changing the resistance. 8.21, 0.7. 0. I'll take one more reading. Now you'd do a lot more readings than this if you were doing it yourself. This time I'm getting 6.12 and 0.52. So now I've got some positive values. I'm going to switch the uh, polarity around. So I'll turn it off to be safe. Switch the polarity around. And now I'm making the current flow of the circuit in the opposite direction. So again I'll just put it back to where I started from. So now I've got minus 10.93 minus 10.93 or 4 uh, minus 0.94 change it again minus 7.98 minus 0.69 one more value minus 6.11 and minus 0.52. So if we look at these results now, I'm able to plot these on a graph of current against voltage and hopefully we'll get this nice straight line that we're supposed to get. Okay, so now we're going to do number two. Now you can see number one and number two, the setup is almost identical. So I'm just going to literally swap out this permanent resistor I was using for the bulb. Okay. Now, health and safety should be aware that the bulb and the resistors as well can get quite warm, so just be careful when handling those. All right, so everything's the same. I've just swapped this for the old uh, resistor, uh, and I'm going to do the same uh, and get some some readings. Switching on, so this time for a voltage of I'm starting negative this time around. I'll switch it around in a second. Minus 10.44 gives me a value of minus two. 0.05 amps uh, change 
the, um, the voltage again. So now minus 4.45 gives me a value of minus 1.30. Now with the bulb one, because we are expecting a curve, I should really go for more values to get a clearer uh, picture of that, but I'm going to rush it a bit because you guys really need to go in and, and do more more readings to get it clearer, more points on the graph and a clearer uh, picture of what's going on. So voltage is minus 2.71, minus 2.71. Current is basically dead on one. Okay, and again we're going to switch the. Uh, can we see this here? We're going to switch the um, the polarity around. Better switch off the power, the power pack first. Switch the polarity around. So we can do the positive values now. Okay, so start at the max again. So now positive 10.37, positive 2.01-ish. Okay, I'm just gonna grab a couple of values. 5.19 voltage positive, 1.39 current. 3.80 and 1.17. So I've just got an extra reading here, or maybe an extra two readings. 2.45 and 0.94. And one last reading. So our lowest voltage, 1.70. We've got 0.78. So again, these are the readings I'm going to use to plot a graph of current against voltage for the bulb. Okay, so working on practical number three, you've got to use a, a milliammeter, or we've got a, um, a multimeter we've, switch, we've set to, um, to read in the milliamp range. And uh, we're testing a diode. Okay, so the setup, we've found that we have to use a very low voltage, about two volts. Okay, I've connected into the positive, going through to the uh, multimeter, comes out into this variable resistor, which we've got set to approximately one ohm, quite low. Um, against the AQA's advice, it was the only way we found we could get this thing to give some reasonable results. Into the diode, and this time we're using the diode in forward bias. The voltmeter is in parallel across the diode, and then we go into another variable resistor here, so we can vary the amount of current flowing through the circuit. Okay, so switching on. Okay, just reset this. Just fiddle for loose connections. There we go. Right, so at the moment I've got a, a reading of 0.73 volts across the, the uh, diode. So the voltage is 0.73, and I've got a current of 0.111. Okay, so 0.75 volts across the diode gives me a current of 0.158 amps. 0.77 gives me a voltage of, sorry, a current of 0.268, and I'll go for one last one. 0.80 gives me a current of 0.584. So I've actually managed to get four readings here. I'd ideally try and get more than that. So you want to fiddle with this until you get um, as many graduations as you can. If I now try reversing the voltage, so this is now for a negative voltage. Okay, you can see I've got negative 2.35, a voltage of minus 2.35, but the current is zero. Okay, and if I fiddle with this and vary the voltage across it, vary the voltage across it, you can see I still get zero. So no matter what, even if I have minus three volts, I'm still getting zero amps because the diode only allows the current flowing one direction. So when plotting these results, I should get um, the standard uh, diode graph for current versus voltage. Oh no!